has uh, a finished working prototype of version 2, much larger, 64 meg of memory, still tweakable, still you build it or as a kit. And so he's put up pictures of the prototype working. Uh, Todd's electronic work is really good, which is why people like the Mattel contract him to make talking snails and Barbie dolls and just the audio in and stuff. Uh, but his heart and soul is in his 8-bit samplers. And he's probably going to do a, a really cheap, really cheap, really small portable sampler that you can use in live work. And the last thing, there are two drone labs from Casper Electronics uh, that I made. I sort of use them as stereo. They each take an external input, so I put something crazy for lead work into each one. And then I can fade it up, fade it down and stuff. Um, they're kind of interesting because the clock that modulates the uh, four op drone oscillators can, can trigger out into your modular gear or trigger into the other one and slave it so both, both your left and right channels are in sync while you're processing things separately through uh, their internal bandpass filters, which I really like. They're, they're, they're quite nice. They're not resonant filters, but a lot of fun. So uh, do come up and, uh, and try this sort of stuff out if you're interested in building some of it. Uh, there's really cool, uh, inexpensive designs by and large out there uh, today. And I'm really interested to see so many young designers flocking to Austin, uh, building things in, in communities. So there's at least four people manufacturing in Austin. I'd say the same thing's going on here in, in Seattle in the, in the modular community. Uh, the, oh, the other ones are Tom Bugs um, from Bristol. He's now moving into heavily into his modulars. Uh, but the waiting list is so intense, I've, it'll be a long time before I ever ever uh, uh, see one of those myself, I think. Um, but you'll see some of his gear in the in the touring rigs of Throbbing Gristle and bands like that, Portis Head and people like that. So somewhere between the classics and the new odd technology, they're, they're both interesting uh, parts of electronic music. <laughs>